Welcome to my fish room. Okay, we're back at Aaron's tank, but that's not the reason for back at Aaron's tank. We just picked up some Hippocampus erectus. These are third generation, and uh, we're going to be delivering them later on today, so we're just keeping them here. And also, so you can see them better, we stuck them in this tank, so the water refraction, etc. So you see there's a lot of Siri eye on them. Siri? Is it Siri or Siri eye? I think Siri. We didn't even talk about the seahorses. He was just talking about how it's always present. Oh, yeah. The guy that we got the seahorses off of, he thinks it is like the common cold that's always present. He is half right. In wild caught fish, it's pretty much always present. But once, but once you quarantine them and get rid of them, you do realize that... Uh, before white men got to uh, north, uh, like Northwest Territories, Alaska, and all that, yeah. there was no such thing as a common cold up there. Yeah. Be why not? It wasn't friendly. It's too cold for the common cold fires to live up there, so it has to be carried in on a person. And if everybody's all better before they get up there, there's no common cold. But with airplanes and travel and stuff and common cold being so ubiquitous. But he put in some elastics for them to hang on to, but of course they're not hanging on to him. But, uh, yeah. Three hippocampus erectus this size, $200 plus tax, and away you go. There's one male, and, there's sorry, so one female, two males, three. Yeah. Well, that was just so that uh, if the people wanted to, they could breed them. Okay, so Carl's Aquariums now has seahorses too. Okay, if any can explain this, these young people apparently travel in packs carrying TVs. <laughs> so apparently, how I many... Live, I live down the street though, it's not that far. But I never once carried my TV even to the backyard, let alone carry it down the street to my buddy's house. This is like less than 30 pounds, man. Yeah, light. Can, yeah but we were strong when I was hands. young. Like a 100-pound TV was light to us then. It's just like 30 pounds to you guys now is light. Yeah. 100 pounds to a farm boy is light. <laughs> How many TVs have been here at one point in time? Three. Three TVs in one room that's what? 10 by 15? There, there, and there. why didn't you put the tape on the window? You complained about the draft. Uh -huh. And what are you eating? <laughs> why? Offered to buy it for me. That'll kill you. Not right away. <sighs> okay, yeah, so I can stab you a little bit because it won't kill you right away? Is that somebody's warehouse? <laughs> it's your garage. Is that you? That's oh, just digital garage. That's my car. That's his car and everything. What are you playing? I thought it was a violent game. It is Man, violent. I thought your mother wouldn't let you watch Harry Potter because of the magic. No, mom liked it. It was just that the church didn't agree with it. Oh. Mom liked it the church does realize it's made up. Okay. Same like this game, all made up. Yeah, but he just ran into a post. Aaron, is this where you get your driving skills from? <laughs> oh my God. You just ran into another post, another, 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 a Stein? Can't you, Aaron? <laughs> he is on the wrong side most of the time. It explains a little incident yesterday, eh? Not in the slightest. Okay. What, you're doing, what kilometers an hour right now? 15, 20? Yeah, this is flying. No, he's not. Yeah? He's running through red light. That's probably not a good way. It's a video game. Man. East Vinewood, De Paso, San Andreas, Popular Street. No, it said popular. That's the map there on the wall. Yeah, that's how big it is. Okay, that's... Wow. See? Los Santos, Blaine County. You can travel around the whole place there. 
But isn't this the one where you drive around driving over hookers and pimps and... Yeah, you can do that if you want. You can do practically anything you want in this. Other than that, you just drive. You drive around or you walk around or you fly around? You have a you driver's can... license, son. Do you have a driver's license? It's cars in the driveway. Okay. We got two kids with driver's license who come down and play pretend and drive. Mm-hmm. Okay. Some of it. Because you can't fly 100 miles per hour on the main roads in real life. You can in this road. You can do yeah, but it's pretend. It's like, I got a buddy. You know what he does for fun? That's different. Than flight that's simulator. That's extreme. He will program in a flight and sit there. And I'll be talking to him at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. He says, yeah, Carl, I'm flying from London to New York City right now. Did you get to look out the window and see anything pretty? No. Do you get to see anything but a, wind, uh, like a cockpit? No. And it's in real time. So he can't just like take off and then land. He has to take off, and if it takes 10 hours to fly, 10 you hours sit later. There for 10 hours to play the game. From the simulator. It's like a game. It's a simulator. Yeah, but he can also punch in the numbers and go to work and come home, but That's he has so to race hard. home from work on time because if he takes too long, then of course the plane will fly out over the Indian Ocean and be gone. <laughs> now. And have the whole world looking for him. Yeah. You know one thought that crossed my conspiracy-minded thoughts? Maybe they just did this to make the whole world spend a whole bunch of money. Because how many millions and millions of dollars have been spent? Maybe they're looking for the plane and it's a distraction as opposed to something bigger. What if there never was a plane? What if it's in a cockpit somewhere and all these people don't exist? Mm -hmm. What if it's all made up? What if it's like lost? find the real plane to just find a plane that somebody put there to make us stop looking for it. Yeah, but I thought Lost was a TV show. It was. But... Yeah, I don't think they go to this length for a TV show. But maybe they're, maybe that. it's like that, uh, do you remember that uh, Danny DeVito movie where he wanted to rig the, um, the Nielsen uh, ratings on the TV show? So he kidnapped all the people that were a Nielsen family, sent them on a, an Alaskan cruise, and kept people sitting in those houses watching his show so that his show would get the good ratings. <laughs> and then, of course, he wanted to keep it going, so all these people were like, What do you mean? I'm still on vacation. I want to go home. Because they didn't know they were kidnapped. They thought they were on a free vacation. Wow. But that was back in the 70s. Anything Anyhow... Two twenty somethings who both have cars and driver's licenses playing pretend drive. Aaron, would you like me to get you one of those big telephones so you could play pretend telephone too? You got one in this. You got your own little cell phone. You can like call up other players. You got a pretend telephone in this? Yeah, oh, you like, should have. Looks like looks like the iPhone. You should have saw Aaron when he was a baby. He wanted to play with Daddy's cell phone so bad. And he'd make pretend phone calls with everything. Yeah. So, it's a kid I thing. used to do that. I never did. You're a strange child. Different. I didn't have a pretend telephone. We weren't allowed to use the telephone. We were allowed? I think I was about 15 before I was allowed to use the telephone. Sorry, well, what if, it, <laughs> what if there was an important phone call and my father missed it because I was on the telephone? There was no call waiting. <coughs> Anyhow, well, everybody on the party line was a different ringtone. And we had neighbors that uh, if you didn't answer your call, get off it really quick, they'd put the kid on to start singing so that you couldn't have your conversation. Or they'd just pick the phone up and start banging it on the table until you got off. Yeah. I'm going to have a cell phone now, though. Now it doesn't matter. You yeah, but... You don't need to have a phone anymore. Well, we don't have one. You guys don't have one anymore, right? No. No. Yeah, we have a landline call forwarded to cell phone, but there's no land phone. It's just to get the number because everybody knows it. God, but that number. Oh, wait, so like, they call your house number, but... It goes to the cell phone. phone. Which really confuses people who think that they're calling a actual physical phone. All right, bye-bye.